In the battle against coronavirus, smartphone apps and Bluetooth technology are only the tip of the iceberg. As more countries develop mobile-based contact tracing apps, some are finding ways to incorporate artificial intelligence and augmented reality technology into daily life. In this Tokyo hotel housing patients with mild coronavirus symptoms, robots have been installed to reduce the strain on staff. Pepper is a humanoid greeting robot who is positioned in the lobby to welcome patients and is programmed with positive messages for sufferers. Let's hope the spread will be contained. Let's bring our hearts together and get through this. A cleaning robot will also sanitise high-risk zones where staff access is limited. In China, keeping an eye on infection rates has been made easier with a pair of glasses which enables the wearer to see people's temperature. They can easily be worn on your head. After putting them on, this side will show you what you want to see, the other side is transparent, which means you will be safe when moving around. Developed by a tech startup in only two weeks, the company has sold pairs to governments, schools and parks. The infrared sensor and camera allows the wearer to see results in real time and can detect temperature from two to three metres away. I've been wearing these temperature detection glasses for a week. My job is patrolling the innovation park and checking people's temperature. Compared with a thermometer, it's more convenient and safer. With social distancing measures expected to remain in place, a Canadian tech company has created the Social Distancer, a wearable device which warns when others have breached a two-metre distance. The device uses sound, vibration and LEDs to alert the user, but unlike contact tracing, it doesn't connect to personal devices and only works if others also wear the distancer. Just one more tool to help navigate the new normal. Rachel Merritt, ABC News.